Hi boys and girls, it's Nona the Naturalist with Dana Wharf Whale Watching. And I thought today we'd come down and see if we could see our sea lions that hang out around our harbor. And sure enough, when I look across on the marine safety dock over there, I think there's about 15 California sea lions. And they're exhibiting some of the characteristics that makes me know it's a sea lion and not a seal. For instance, there's a couple of them standing up on their four flippers. Sea lions have the ability to rotate both their hind flippers and their four flippers, and they can actually walk on land, and it gives them the ability to haul out on our um, dock up there. Another thing I can see, and I have a picture of it, you might just look at just a little bit closer here, sea lions definitely have ear flaps. And so that external ear, the ability to bark, the ability to rotate their flippers and stand up on them and walk lets me know that's a sea lion and not a seal. Now these guys, the males can get up to about 800 pounds and the females are more like 300 pounds. They get anywhere from six to eight feet long. I can tell a male when it gets older because it gets a big bump on its forehead called a sagittal crest. And the older they get, the fur up in that area gets kind of white. So those are our sea lions. We see them almost every trip down here on Dana Wharf whale watching because they love to haul out here and on our navigational buoys outside. And we can see them in the daytime because they are nocturnal feeders. They are in the water at nighttime. How do they see at night to catch those fish? Well, they have these really, really cool whiskers. And those conical shaped whiskers called vibrissae that come off their faces are very, very sensitive. They can sense the speed and um, whatever's moving in front of them. And we like to say these guys will eat anything they can get their mouth on, from squid and octopus to shrimp. They love it. They do have to be careful. They do have two predators out here. White sharks, the great white shark. Do you hear that? The white sharks and orca like to feed on our sea lions. If I didn't mention it yet, that's the other way we know that that's a sea lion is because they have well-developed vocal cords. Oh, looks like there's a couple of males out there trying to establish dominance out there. But you know, there's another pinniped that we see in this area, and that's our harbor seals. But unlike the sea lions, which hang out in the harbor, we rarely see a harbor seal inside the harbor. Now, harbor seals are true seals in that they do not have external ear flaps. They just have little holes on there and slits on the side of their head where they have their tympanum membranes on the inside. They also do not have large, long front flippers and their hind flippers don't rotate underneath their body. So they can't walk like these sea lions can on land. Instead, they have to undulate across the ground. But those are two of the main pinnipeds that we see in this area. Now, pinniped is the classification of these kinds of animals. And it means um, flipper-footed animal. Seals, sea lions, walruses, all make up that category of pinnipeds. There's another seal that we sometimes see in the area, but not very often, and that's our northern elephant seal. Northern elephant seals are pretty amazing. They make a double migration every year, and they only come on land to mate, give birth, and to molt. And in our area, we rarely see an elephant seal that's gonna come on land. They do that more up in the central coast of California. But we do see the younger males when we're out at sea whale watching because there's a real dominance among those um, elephant seals. And when they're over on the Channel Islands, the older elephant seals will kick the younger ones out. So they end up kind of wandering around in our waters. Amazing thing about elephant seals, they go out hundreds of miles and they dive down hundreds of feet, like over 500 feet in the water they can dive down they can stay down there for two hours if they need to. So, there we go again. We have our California sea lions over there. We have harbor seals in the area. On rare occasions, we might see an elephant seal. But you know, this weekend I was reading in one of my favorite books about the history of our Dana Point area. And do you know what, boys and girls? Long, long ago in our area, we even had otters. Now, otters are not really a pinniped. They're more related to weasels. Nowadays, we can only find otters up through about Half Moon Bay to Point Conception. 
and their population is way down to only about 3,000. So they're very, very protected. But can you imagine? Sea otters used to be down here by the hundreds and thousands until they were hunted almost to extinction. Boy, I hope someday in either your lifetime or my lifetime we get to see sea otters return to Dana Point. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.